Hi, this is Patrick Hoobin, and you're watching Irish Football Fan TV. Hello and welcome to Irish Football Fan TV. This is my after match reaction from Shamrock Rovers nil, Bohemians won at Tallis Stadium. Uh, where to begin? It was it was a very you know tight game for a lot of it. It was a lot. It was just a lot of just you know physical physical tackles going in. There wasn't a lot of skillful play or anything like that. It wasn't wasn't the most glamorous game. Um, to uh, to see now, to be honest, but uh, you know there was some nice bit bits of play here and there. Um, you know, uh, I thought Dan Carr was a very uh, influential player for Shamrock Rovers throughout the whole game. Uh, I thought he was skillful. He was uh, he was a lot to deal with for the for the two centre halves, uh, Morris and uh, Casey, who were actually superb throughout the whole game. Like. Um, as good as Carr was, they had an answer for uh, most things. He, he had one really, really good chance. He, he put it just wide of the post. Um, and other than that, Shane Supple didn't really have a lot, you know, a lot to do in terms of making saves or anything like that. He wasn't really tested that much uh, throughout the whole game, to be fair. And you, you'd think, you know, after you know the loss to Drogheda last week, you'd think Rovers would be, you know, chomping at the bit now to get to get there especially how I many you're looking at uh bows this season they've really got the upper hand on, on rovers uh in most games they played so you know you'd think this is the one if there was like, ever a game to get those players up for this would be the one that you'd, be, you'd imagine that he would Stephen Bradley would be getting them up for you know but uh sadly uh for their sake that he didn't obviously uh Bowes fans are delighted uh, in terms of the the game, kind of that was just the first half. You know, not a lot really to speak about. Keith Ward had a good chance as well. Uh, he was he was very good throughout as well for uh, Bohemians. He had a volley which uh, Alan Alan Manis actually said quite well, but did look like it was looping in at one point. But uh, no, it didn't. Um, <clears throat> yeah, it just it's not a lot for me to kind of. Uh, to go into detail about it wasn't that many chances there was a lot of heavy flying in tackles you know good good challenges as well like it was a lot of times players were winning the ball winning the ball fairly um but uh you know it, it was going to be whoever got the the first goal that you could sense was going to win it either way so um when Owen Stokes kind of came on you could tell that uh they were going for it both to be honest and you know speaking of flying in challenges i think there was three flying challenges before the goal even goes in so you're looking uh i think it was joey o'brien uh smashed into someone then lopez smashed into ward and then as lopez was getting back up to go out to stokes ward trips him up and then stokes scores and he runs off and, and celebrates with the bose fans and they're all going wild uh off to the left of where i was sitting and uh you know, then as 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 the game kind of went on, Rovers didn't really did very really lacklustre. There wasn't, you know, there was no real end puck. Uh, one of the, the Bowes players made a fabulous interception at, towards the end, um, with uh, a tackle on, on Brandon Kavanagh, which was you know a fantastic challenge to be fair. And you know, uh, the Bowes centre backs really really defended very well throughout the whole game, and they just. Tonight just seemed like they wanted it that bit more, and um, you know, Rovers fans will say it's the it's Bowes Cup final, and you know, each to their own or neutral in this case. And um, so, but uh, you know, it was it was great. The atmosphere was great. You know, uh, the buzz, the hatred, the rivalry. It's it's I'd say other than Cork and. Dundalk, there's not really that many teams in the in the league with that kind of real rivalry, so it's nice to see. Um, although after the match, it, it doesn't seem that nice. But uh, hell, whenever, um, yeah, but Bowles went on to win one nil. Uh, you know, Bradley out sang uh, around the stadium as much as they tried to, you know, hide it with the with the music. But um, 
Yeah, I was, I was coming home, uh, going through uh, the square there in Talla, and a lot of unhappy Rovers fans were coming up to me and saying how much they want Stephen Bradley out. Um, personally, I, you know, as a neutral looking on, I, I'm not really sure what they want. I think uh, there's a, there'll be a majority that wants him out, and there'll be a, a minority that don't. By the looks of things, uh, but it's not really my call to make. So. Um, let us know what you think in the comments in regards to uh, do you want Stephen Bradley still at Shamrock Rovers? Uh, if you're a Bowes fan, uh, how happy with the with the result? Let us know in the comments. Um, that's all I really have to say about the game. You know, I enjoyed the game, I enjoyed the crowd. I seen a couple of people, fans of the show, they came over, said hello, so it was nice to see them. So and it was on my own tonight, so um, it was hard to get to get uh, interviews and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, so you know, if you like this video. Tell us in the comments why you like this video. If you don't like this video, tell me why in the comments. And uh, as always, thanks for watching Irish Football Fan TV.